Hi guys, welcome to Tubby's Blogs, run those titles. Just like an angel from the FBI, I'm gonna get my man. Cause you've been found and convicted of a serious crime. Caught in possession of this heart of mine. And I'm locking you away for a long, long time. You're guilty, guilty, you're guilty of love. And the judge and the jury and the defendant too. see why my voice is kind of gone it's changing my experiencing a very late voice change in puberty I don't know I'm failing to sing now and my voice is going um what's happening I might be dying <laughs> anyway um <laughs> I might be experiencing voice changes in puberty very very late I'm 19 for God's sake. Anyway, returning to the purpose of this blog. I'm going to turn my camera things so I can look a bit... Oh, there we go, much lighter. Um, what was I going to talk about? Dreams. Uh, first thing I want to talk about, Whovians. Uh, my uh, account is called the... My other account is called the Whovians. It's a collab account with me, um, Dr. Hugh Hobb, uh, Palmer on Hour 21, and Moon Who Reviews. And that's four, missing one. And Rob, my friend Rob. And we all do Whovians accounts. So if anyone who is a Doctor Who fan, you're a Who, you're class a Whovian, that's classic and new, um, then pop over to Whovians account, subscribe. I think we've got 38 subscribers in like a month, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, and for all my Doctor Who reviews, if you miss them, if you want to watch them, then they're over on my channel on the Whovians. And that's where they're all going to be, if you just want to, Go and check them out. Uh, because I don't really want to mess around with the slots on my Whovians channel, I didn't really want to upload this complete video onto that one because it's come back. They even again, oh, you told us not to do this. Like, you told us not to upload videos, but it's not our day. So I'll be like, so I'm kind of contradicting myself. I actually upload a video that's not on my day. So, so I'm like doing it here. I was kind of pissed off. I'm pissed off. I don't like Doctor Who fans telling me or correcting me about Doctor Who facts. Like I might have mucked up and I said that the Valyard was between the 11th and his last incarnation on Doctor Who. I've been corrected. It's his 12th and his last regeneration. I don't really want it because the Doctor only has 12 regenerations. He doesn't have 13, he has 13 lives, but one was an original, which he didn't regenerate in. He didn't regenerate into a life. So he has 12 regenerations, 13 lives. One was the original, so he has 12 regenerations. 13 incarnations, okay? So, I hate when fans tell, say, oh, you've got that wrong. I'm like, fuck you. I've been a longer fan than any of you have probably been in your entire lives, so, fuck you. And you're going, Piss off. I will not be told by a new Doctor Who fan and I will not be corrected by a new Doctor Who fan. I've been a Doctor Who fan my entire life and I will not be corrected by some little twat who's like a, a little Doctor Who fan. I, oh, oh, I became a Doctor Who fan about five years ago when Doctor Who started in 2005. It's like, I've been a Doctor Who fan. I was a Doctor Who fan way before that. I was like, I collect all the video releases. I watched them on video and it's like, I frustrate me so much if someone corrects me. I hate it. That's why I hate Whovians. I hate Doctor Who fans because they contradict me and they try to make their knowledge better than mine. I tolerate a lot of them. Like the ones I've got on my channel, they're perfect. They wouldn't say, they wouldn't correct me in a fashion like that. They wouldn't dare correct the Toby. Um, yeah, if I've got a little minor mistake like I was blabbering and I blabbered a small little fact wrong then yeah correct me but don't correct me by challenging my knowledge it's just frustrating yeah